people wanted to ask me online what did I think about this particular story regarded of course his majesty the king king charles iii on his very first visit as king over to the beautiful land that is australia as ever let me explain morning good to see you thank you so much as ever for your time these particular stories i'm glad then you you, you put in the comments i do read them all as you know a big wave to the chums by the way and welcome one and all brand new subscribers i do see so many of them and i can understand why you get angry as i do you know but i find it with a lot of protesters and things a lot of them when you think about it it is a business isn't it because where do they get all those placards from made instantly and more importantly who's paying for all of these things you know do you remember in the old days it was things like on a piece of cardboard with a felt tip pen now it's almost like a professional industry but this particular story did get some traction over here in the united kingdom and this was as of course king charles was addressing an ensemble throng with a speech sat alongside him queen camilla and this was all to do with this particular individual lydia thorpe she came barging in of course um, and we don't need to go into great detail you can see it all there basically being very very ill-mannered and more importantly just looking for attention when you look back at this particular individual you can see that literally she's just looking for attention the bigger question I would ask about this whole debacle is somebody somewhere allowed this individual to get through and this is the problem it doesn't matter how much security you put around anybody whether it be a famous pop star or indeed a politician somebody naturally works from the inside it must have been you come in this way we'll just let you through because how would you get that close to that particular point just at the point when all the cameras are there the speech is there all of that sort of stuff has it been detrimental well not really because the only thing it's done is highlight the stupidity of this individual and what's more important about this is you know it's now opened up the kind of worms about whether people do want to be independent or not and has his majesty the king started out just before he started on that journey over to australia he said it will be up to the will of the people and that's true that's exactly what our late and brilliant monarch queen elizabeth ii said it's not up to her she can't make that decision it has to be up to the people now if anything this has absolutely made king charles more popular out in australia i kid you not you know they did a recent vote and basically they said they love the way that he handled it including of course queen camilla what I find fascinating about is that, yes, a lot of people may have thought, oh, you know, we've got our message across, but the message isn't really across, is it? It doesn't make any difference because, you know, everybody knew about that already and consequently, does anybody really care? But the bottom line is, when you think about it, now what this has done is make people very aware of whether they want the monarchy or not. They can make that decision themselves and more importantly, of course, for His Majesty the King, he's no doubt getting a more feeling of warmth than he'd ever felt before. So in effect, this whole escapade has truly backfired, just making this particular individual look more unhinged than she originally looked, if that were possible. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.